Now the Oakland County Sheriff's Office and law enforcement agencies around Metro Detroit are investigating a number of copycat threats in the aftermath of the Oxford attack. Some schools closed for the day in response to this. And how to protect children is on everyone's mind. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is asking what needs to be changed right now. It's a tough conversation, but we owe it to the children to ask what went right preserving lives and what went wrong tragically costing lives. I just hope that, that we are you know, brave enough as a state, as a community, to have the conversations now that need to be happening. Robert McCann is the executive director at the K-12 Alliance of Michigan. He says Oxford High School had many measures in place to prevent a student from firing on classmates. The school had training, plans, and a school resource officer on duty. The sheriff's office says the shooting only lasted about five minutes because of a quick response from that officer preserving lives. So every 30 seconds or whatever it is, there's another casualty. Regional so director of the National Association of School Resource Officers, Todd Runyon, has heard some ask, should there be metal detectors? We still have people that are, are able to bypass those. Um, you know, it, it, are they a tool that can be used? Absolutely. Um, I'm grateful that uh, so far we don't have them in my community. The Secret Service is a leading agency in studying uh, incidents like what just occurred. Bill Cousins is a security consultant who worked with the Secret Service for more than two decades as a supervisory special agent. He says Secret Service agents are trained to approach people who talk or write about hurting someone and get them help. He says schools need resources to help people who are hurting to protect students and staff. Yes, we could arrest that individual for what they said. But the real, the, the best thing is to get them help. Education advocates here in our state agree that our school counselors are taking on hundreds more students than recommended. It's just one suggestion of many to come. Kim Russell, 7 Action News.